All right, guys, I figured I would just do a little video while my video is uploading from yesterday on YouTube. And uh, I got a little bit of time. Wanted to run over to the pond, my, my little honey hole, and see if there's anything biting. Check this out. I just picked up this little Savage Gear Bluegill. That thing is freaking awesome. Perfect size. Uh, a lot better than some of the other ones that I've seen. So, we're going to head over there and see if we can get something on the line. Stay tuned, guys, and thank you for watching this little episode of Freshwater Massacre. Let's go. All right, guys, so I ended up having to go get another crankbait rod last night because the one that I had broke. And I just picked up a... Abu Garcia Vigilante, seven foot medium heavy, but it's got a, an extremely fast tip. I see some fish moving out there already. Oh yeah. I think maybe the spawn has happened and maybe they're out looking for some snacks now. I do know that I got a deep diving crank, so it might be too deep for there, but we're going to try anyways. Stay tuned, guys. I cannot believe, I cannot believe something actually hit this Savage Gear. First cast, it made like a wake on top of the water. And man, that fish just came out of nowhere and hammered this thing. First cast. I literally put it on as a joke. And look at the wake that it makes. That's awesome. Let's try over here. Well, guys, I got a couple strikes. Nothing too exciting, but. I'm gonna try one more spot and see what I come up with. All right, guys, I did not have any more smashes on that savage gear. But I did see some fish still on the beds. The sun is not quite high enough yet for me to see directly in there. Uh, I threw one on the other side of the pond. I threw it one time and something smacked it like get out of my bed. So. It's a good time to catch them. It's just not the right time, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go finish the video that I have uploading, and then I will upload this one later on tonight. Thanks for hanging out, guys. We are going to hit this pond. Once summer rolls around, this pond is fire. Well, guys, I guess the trip wasn't in vain. I did catch a fish on that whopper plopper there ain't no horse but a fish is a fish overcast conditions there we go see you later buddy dude that was crazy I cast right here along that shoreline over there and something smacked it like 10 feet from the shoreline. I don't know that I'll be able to get it to do it again, but we can sure try. It's perfect. Perfect day for top water. It's overcast. It's not really that humid though. I'm surprised that that fish hit the uh, hit the plopper. All right, guys. First one of the day, and it's a fighting. A nice long fish. He sideswiped it.
pretty fish. Nice, big, fat, healthy fish. I'll get a photo and get them back in the water. Pretty fish. All right, guys. Get them back in the water. Thank you, baby. I was beginning to wonder if these fish were even awake this morning. So basically, guys, what I'm doing with this uh, heading subsurface bait is I'm actually using it as a topwater bait. It, it dives down and then it pops back up to the surface again. And if you slow roll it, it dives just below the surface. But these fish have not really been hitting on anything below the surface. So I figured I would come out here and try the same technique that I did yesterday and it worked. I had two humongous fish blow up on this bait and man was it awesome. I was jumping up and down on the shoreline. I was so excited. So we're just going to keep on trying. Stay tuned guys. The cool thing was, he hit it once, but then he came back for it. And that's when I set the hook, after he hit it three times. So he definitely wanted it, but that's the thing, when you're using that topwater bait, don't, don't get impatient. If something hits it, give it a little twitch and let it sit there again. Because chances are, if it had its eye on it once, it's still going to have its eye on it again if you just let it sit there and you twitch it like I'm doing with this one. This bait is just diving just below the surface and then it's surfacing. And that's how I caught those two fish. It's, it's really cool. It's kind of like a jerk bait, but a popper at the same time. So don't be afraid to think outside the box like I said yesterday. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Take chances and uh, don't always do the same thing that you always do because one little subtle change could be the difference between going home empty-handed or actually catching a fish stick around guys all right guys so i guess it's going to be a two-day culmination video um had a lot going on this week there is nothing back there Sometimes the cars don't know everything. That was my backup sensor. So, yeah, so we're just gonna do a combination of two days. Caught one yesterday, caught one today. And we're gonna go over to my buddy's pond and see if we can't rustle something else up here. Just make sure I got my wallet. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, every once in a while, every once in a while you find a good shops that have good breakfast food. Got a steak, egg and cheese bagel here. Add mayo. That's good. We're going to finish this up and then we're going to get to the pond. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, we're here at pond number two. Let's see if we can't make something happen. Let's go. Oh, man, what a beautiful day it is. Let's see if we can't get some fish to uh, take a liking to this bait I got here. I'm 
I'm just walking real slow. Just checking to see. Oh, yeah, I see a nice one right there. That's a nice fish. I see him swimming. This water is extremely clear today. I was hoping I could throw it out in front of him and get him to bite it. Well, guys, I didn't let it get the best of me. And I got one at the end of the day, man, he freaking choked this thing. Gosh. Oh good, he's, he's still got a lot of fight in him. So we're gonna let him go. He freaking slammed that jig. Come on, buddy. Don't stop moving. There you go, buddy. There you go. Just gotta give them a little bit of time. And they'll come back. This is such a steep bank. And, uh, when they swallow it like that, there's not there's not really much you can do um, except try to get it out as fast as you can and get them back in the water. <laughs> 